Marilyn Walker, thanks so much for uh, performing today on Valley Advocate Sessions. Thanks for having me. Uh, first off, uh, could you tell us a little bit about uh, your uh, career as a solo performer? Oh, like, my how career you got started. as a, how I got started? Yeah. I started writing songs when I was in my teens, maybe about 15, 16 years old, did a few open mics, and then I went to music school, and that kind of squashed everything for a while, because I was so immersed in music, I'm a violinist, and did music education. I realized all my songs were the same four chords over and over again, and how could I possibly be doing that, and just, oh, I can't write good songs anymore, or the songs that I wrote work good because I know more about things. So it wasn't until deeply into grad school or after grad school that I started writing songs again and going out into the world again and realizing that pop music is really just four chords over and over again and it's okay and you can add things and make things different, but it's all variations and pulling from other works and ideas out there. So being able to then <clears throat> feel comfortable in the sound that I was producing to then go out in the world again. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the songs that you perform today? Uh, are, are they kind of related, like thematically, or uh, were they written during a, per a certain period of your life? Um, there are more. There are the little bit newer songs. In um, Incarnadine is an album that I put out about three years ago, and Bittersweet was on that album. The other four songs are new songs that I'm hoping to put out on a new album called Patchwork. And the idea of patchwork is that it's taking some songs from the past, older songs that are on um, older albums, Resolution and Incarnadine, and plus new songs from where I am now in life and kind of patching them together. Oh, okay. Uh, what, what's that process going to be like, uh, recording that? It's going to be a live solo album. So I'll go to the studio, bring my guitar, have my voice, I'll sing or I'll play on the piano, and we'll take some takes and we'll decide which ones we like the best and patch it all together. Do you have any plans for a specific release date for that? Um, this, it won't take very long to do the recording. We're just going to do a few sessions, so hopefully by the spring. Oh, cool. Or if not, end of summer. Uh, where are you going to be recording? Uh, is it any place local? Yeah, Signature Sound Studio in Pomfret, Connecticut. Oh, okay. So I wouldn't call it local, but local enough to the region. All right. Uh, so uh, one song that really, uh, I think, touched me was uh, the, the song that you performed about your grandmother passing away. Yes. Well, well, uh, when, did, when did you write that, that, that piece? A few months after she passed. She died of Alzheimer's, and seeing the process of, of her memory going and being there um, the day before she went on hospice care, before she stopped um, being able to talk with us, was a very powerful memory so I put it down yeah, and then I uh, have that my grandmother also passed uh, last year of uh, dementia mm -hmm. like Alzheimer ish yes. uh, uh, illness so uh, that, that was really impactful personally so uh, yes. just wanted to share that yeah. uh, do you have any gigs coming up uh, maybe uh, sometime uh, March uh, late fe February well, I am playing a Veterans Benefit on March 11th. Time to be announced. It's at the World War II Club. Uh, any other uh, dates with any of the other groups you're playing with? I know you're in the Women Songwriter Collective and uh, Violet we, Mae. Is, is yes. That... Um, we actually don't have any dates really down yet. Okay. So but uh, look we on your website them. probably. You can go to yeah. www.carolynwalkermusic.com and you can find them. Awesome. Uh, well, thank you so much for uh, performing on uh, sessions today. Thank you very much for having me.